Hey my beautiful friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make a very easy daisy flower painting. It's a beginner friendly tutorial for my friends who are still not very comfortable with watercolors. I'm sure you're going to find it very easy and very enjoyable. So let's get started. I have done a loose sketch here. In case you need the sketch, it's available on my community tab. So let me start with my quick painting now. And I will do the background first, very loosely, taking some bright colors from my color palette. I begin with gamboche yellow, which is always my favorite. You will notice that I'm not being very precise here and if certain areas close to the petals are left out without color, nothing to worry. Just keep yourself very relaxed while painting this artwork. These exercises are meant to relax us, give us pleasure and not any tension that it will not come out nicely. And in the end, you will see that this artwork comes out very beautifully. So after yellow, I have touched vermilion hue and bright orange. I'm painting the background layer not very dark first. I can always make it darker later by adding another layer. And that's my suggestion to you all as well. Watercolor should be done layer by layer. If you start with dark colors or more concentrated pigment, it becomes difficult to rectify your work later if required. So please start by doing lighter layers and the work will have more depth and volume in it. I'm using purple now, which I've made by mixing cobalt blue and crimson lake red in the ratios of almost 1 is to 4. After purple, to keep the bottom slightly darker, I'm using cobalt blue and blending purple and yellow with that. Once the entire background is done, I give more color to any areas which look lighter. So after the background, I start with the flowers. The central part first, where you just have to use gamboche yellow and then orange and putting dot 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 create this area easily. The enhancement in this area we will do once all the flowers are done. And now for the petals, today I'm not going to use a thin brush and paint the petals which some of you may find tough at times. I'm just going to use water soluble pencil colors today. I'm using the brand Stedler. You can try any water soluble pencil colors that you have or which are easily accessible in your area. So for this first flower, I'm doing a very light outline with brown and a little shading. Followed by a little touch of orange. And now a clear brush is going to do the rest of the work for us. So dip the brush in clear water, wipe out the extra water using a tissue paper and slightly spread the pigment.
further darken the petals using brown. Before doing the next flowers, let me do the central part of all the other flowers. I have used dark orange, bright orange and gamboche yellow for this part. The second flower and this third one have the same colors so I thought let me show you any one of these. So I do a dark outline with blue. Now see for any background areas which were left uncolored I do small petals. Now this is a very easy and a very smart way to work in such paintings. Now some clean wet brushwork followed by dark shading and upliftment using brown. For my last flower, I have done a dark outline with brown. See for the first and the last flowers, I have used the same brown. The first flower, I had used a very light hand and here I have used a heavy hand to make it darker. Followed by shading with orange and then using a wet brush to merge them together. You will notice how different are the looks of the first and the fourth flower by a mere change in the pressure of the hand. So water soluble pencil colors can be great fun. I will recommend you to start using them and you will see they look so beautiful and they make the work so easy. In the end some further darkening and one thing to remember here is that water soluble pencil colors become darker when water is used on them. So just keep that in mind while doing your work.
now coming to the stems i'm using two to three shades of greens followed by dark brown So guys, I hope you liked this simple tutorial using water soluble pencil colors. In case you like it, please hit the like button, share the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon in yet another exciting tutorial. Till then, stay safe, keep happy, goodbye.